uranium-234, a very unstable element due to the transformations that take place in which a new element is formed. Typically, in this process known as radioactive decay, particles are typically emitted. These particles, known as alpha and beta particles, come from the nucleus of an atom. So, the question is, is this radioisotope stable or unstable, and what is the half-life of it? Uranium-234 is extremely unstable and is a potential danger to those who encounter large amounts of the substance. This element has a half-life of 245,000 years. So how is it isolated for use? Uranium ore comes from the Earth's crust. It is mined in a process called in situ leaching, which dissolves the mineral from the mine to the surface. From there, the product is shipped out in a solid form, or a yellow cake, uranium, which is then made into a powder, which then is added to the porcelain for dentist use. How is this radioisotope used today? Well, though not used as commonly today, uranium-234 was frequently used in the process of making dentures and crowns for teeth. The use of it in dentist industry was for the purpose of making teeth to look realistic. Pros of this method for dentistry were wider and brighter dentures, and the product would not be affected by high temperatures. Some cons to this, however, include higher oral mucosa levels due to the alpha emissions from the uranium concentration, possible lung cancer, kidney and respiratory tract complications, and in some cases, childbirth defects. Number 1. Uranium-234 is one of three kinds of uranium radioisotopes. The other two are uranium-235 and uranium-238. Number 2. One ton of natural uranium can produce more than 40 million kilowatt hours of electricity, which is equivalent to burning 16,000 tons of coal or 80,000 barrels of oil. Number 3. Uranium was named after the planet Uranus, which was only found 8 years prior to uranium. Number 4. Uranium is the 48th most abundant element found in crustal rock. Number 5. And as of October 2, 2015, uranium cost only $36.60 per pound.